Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. People game, man. Um, all right, man. We a few hours away from the big fight, man. Oh, yeah, man. Shout out to Dante, man. You know, went out there to the UK, man, to go to this fight, man. That was cool, man, seeing him in that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, black barber shop in Sheffield, England. So, shout out to the brothers in Sheffield, England, man. So, it was cool to see some shit like that. Got me wanting to go to, uh, England and shit, man. So, um, yeah, man. But, uh, anyway, man, let me get to the, uh, topic at hand, man. The big fight, man. Okay. Now, this is my assessment of the whole fight. Um, I'm not going to give a prediction, but this fight is real intriguing, man. Let's see where Kale Brook is after coming off a, a loss. You know, that loss with Triple G and that farce of a fight. That shouldn't have happened in the first place, but... You know, Kale Brook did it for the money, and Triple G basically used it as pretty much another uh, excuse not to fight Andre Ward. But, you know, that's neither here or there now. But um, at the end of the day, man, um, it shouldn't be no excuses whoever wins, man. If Kale Brook pulls this off and wins, no excuses. No, uh, well, you know, Errol Spence, his resume was suspect or... Uh, you know, he hadn't fought anybody, or he was still just a little too green, or he was a hype job. None of that shit. I won't allow that shit on my channel, so I'm telling you that right now. No excuses from anybody. So, that's real talk. No excuses from the diehard uh, Errol Spence fans. No excuses from the diehard uh, Kale Brook fans. Like I say, uh, may the best man win. Now, on the flip side, if Errol Spence pulls this off and wins this fight, I don't want to hear no shit about that Kell Brook was weight drained and, you know, he had to lose a lot of weight to make 147 because it's like this. You know, he really was a welterweight to begin with. That's what he was really fighting as. And he decided, you know, to go up to 160. So, you know, I really don't want to hear no excuses. You know, this will be a big win for whoever pulls this fight off. So, that's pretty much all I got to say about that, man. So, we'll see. Uh, we'll see pretty much in a few hours who's um, the second best welterweight in the division after Keith Thurman. Right now, I still got Keith Thurman number one until further notice. Now, if either one of these guys pulls this off, you know, either one of these dudes, whoever pulls this shit off, then they number two. And Keith Thurman going to have to see them. You know, and I'm going to do a separate video about Keith Thurman in a minute. But anyway, man, that's all I have to say about that, man. I'm out.